Buffalo, Laguna Woods, Evaldi, Tulsa. What does it say about us when our elders and churchgoers, children, teachers, physicians, and loved ones are gunned down for no reason? The cumulative impact of this extraordinary loss of life is devastating. With each instance, we're left to ponder why it keeps happening and how we make it end. And as this evening winds to a close, we are left to confront this reality after yet another mass shooting in an American community. I'm Leslie Foster, and just a few hours ago, President Joe Biden addressed the nation. He laid out his vision for tackling the gun violence, and he's calling on Congress to take action. John Henry is here to walk us through the president's plan, and you've been getting some reaction, right, John? That's correct. Leslie, President Joe Biden laid out his vision for reform with specificity. The commander-in-chief, among other things, called for a ban on assault weapons, a ban on high-capacity magazines, stronger background checks, and new national red flag laws. He said now was the time to finally do something about gun violence in America. Over the last two decades, more school-age children have died from guns than on-duty police officers and active-duty military combined. How many more innocent American lives must be taken before we say enough? During his speech, the president also put pressure on Capitol Hill. While he commended the House for tackling gun reform legislation, he urged its other chamber to act. It's time for the Senate to do something. But the political realities of Washington will likely make that a challenge, something Biden even alluded to himself. In order to do any, get anything done in the Senate, we need a minimum of 10 Republican senators. It's not only that. Some gun rights advocates in our area believe some of the president's proposals are simply non-starters. We spoke to Philip Van Cleve, president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League, over the phone. The uh, quote-unquote assault weapon uh, ban would be viewed as unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Uh, in D.C. versus Heller, the Supreme Court said that any gun that's in common use would be covered by the Second Amendment. That is, you cannot ban a gun that's in common use. You can't turn around and take away what the popular gun from Americans under the Second Amendment. And the AR-15 is the most popular rifle and has been for quite a few years. We did ask Van Cleve if there was any middle ground to be had between the two sides. And he responded with a topic the president even brought up himself. Mental health, if you want to work on ways to get people help when they need help, there would be grounds. We must provide more school counselors, more school nurses, more mental health services for now, the gun control group Moms Demand Action joined with the president in asking for the Senate to act. Its founders said, we're encouraged to see real bipartisan negotiations going on in the Senate right now, but it isn't about our hope that something gets done. It's our expectation that lawmakers do the right thing. Leslie? We'll see if they respond to that, John. Thank you.